what we're going to look at here is one example where additive can actually work quite nicely. But what you're going to see is this isn't even like perfect additive. Because when I bring up the span here and all I have is this one frequency playing, instead of a sine wave, what it's actually doing is it's generating me a triangle wave or something similar to a triangle wave. Because what you're going to see is our fundamental here is at A3220. 220 plus 220 equals 440. But as you can see, 440 is not accounted for here. But if we go up from 440 and add 220 to that, which should be 660, that is accounted for. So this, this would be an example of odd-ordered harmonics going up. And because of this steep roll-off here, this is more of a uh, triangle wave. And this is just done, I think, to try to spice things up a little bit. Because if we think about how a pipe organ actually does operate, all you have are a bunch of pipes and you blow air up through the pipe and then you have a little lip somewhere along the pipe and the sound then gets forced out through that and that's what generates the actual tone on the instrument and how you shape that pipe is actually what's going to get you a different blend of harmonics like what we see right here and so with this instrument what you actually do is we're going to be additively bringing in these sorts of triangle waves at different um, harmonic values so you can see that this starting one here is the sub and then we also can bring in a fifth. So let's just do this in real time so you can see it. You don't need to necessarily know what's going on here. You can see how that hypes up some and brings up a few others. Okay, and then here we have the primary. So this is actually at the octave and that's why it's showing up over here at 440. Then we have an eighth, which is another octave up. The 12th and so forth. So now with this blend together, and so what we can almost imagine is what we're doing here is we're calling up um, different, and I'm trying to now think of what the name is for this, somebody, oh man, I can't believe I'm not remembering this, different ranks of pipes. So when you see a pipe organ, there's a console, and you'll oftentimes see that there are these different um, bars that you can pull out, and they'll have names on them like flute or like clarinet or whatever. And that's a balance of the different pipes that are generating different harmonics and different harmonic series. And when blended together, it can sound like a clarinet or it can sound like, um, you know, whatever is on there, whatever's on the list, the flute or the trumpet or the bass. And the more advanced pipe organs give you just all sorts of different ranks that you can pull out and you can then create really nice and interesting blends. That's oftentimes why the pipe organ is considered like the first synthesizer, but really what it is is it's additive. You're bringing in more and more pipes to the party and so it's shaping you and giving you a different sound. Mm -hmm. And in this example, it's really more like we're shaping the lip more aggressively if we want to bring in higher overtones and things like that. But you can imagine an actual pipe organ really being a lot like an additive synthesizer because you're just bringing in more and more ranks and ranks of pipes that then are playing together and shaping the sound um, in sometimes just really, really powerful ways. So if we go in here and we grab like a preset, let's choose full organ, for example, we can now listen to this and see how convincing it is. So with like a cathedral style reverb or something on that, it might even be a little bit more convincing. Let's see, is there a reverb on here? There is not, there might be something. A little bit more of like a Hammond organ with the rotary. So not the most realistic thing in the world, but you know, it sounds like a pipe organ to some extent, and that is done using additive synthesis.